Welcome to the sun-bathed islands of the Adli Bay. At the middle of these warm waters sits the capital, Veli, the largest among all other cities in the bay and a true sight to behold. Rich in natural resources, bountiful fishing and favorable soil, the Adli Bay has boomed into a bustling paradise with boats coming and going with product in tow. Seaplanes and flying boats, an aeronautical invention only a few decades old and growing in popularity. Those brave enough to pilot a plane tend to do so for an occupational or economical advantage, while others, for crooked reasons. Brew pirates, backwater bootleggers, they taint these lands in choking smog, plunder ingredients and steal from the peaceful locals to forcefully sustain their brewing monopoly. The pirates operate in secrecy from the surrounding landmass of the Marieth and Del Holdin nations. Their presence expands, forcing their brews as they row freely and unchallenged. That was until two unlikely heroes stepped forward. Nigel, a flunky from the Marieth Flight Academy. Undeterred, Nigel refuses to give up on his dream of becoming a career pilot. With very little flight hours on his record, he's eager to find anyone that will fly with him. And Francie, the daughter of a successful merchant in the Marieth capital. When she learned of her father's shop being ransacked by the pirates for goods used in their brewing production, she vowed to help protect the bay and return what was stolen. In this time of turmoil, our unlikely heroes unite under one banner and one name. Henceforth, the Brew Barons came to be. All right, we're here, the city of Veli, the last remaining location in the bay that still shines bright with opportunity. Huh, not a bad place to start a brewing enterprise. I hope the locals won't mind us setting up shop here. Some may be wary, but I'm sure we can sway minds and gather support if we can produce quality brews people actually like. All right then, let's do this. I just wish we had enough money left over from the renovations to buy a better seaplane. The salesman may have swindled us with this junker. How about that? She floats! Sir, as I knew it would. Now before you head off, just a reminder to keep your speed low when entering or exiting any harbors. Harbors often have plenty of boats and obstacles that can cause some real harm to you and your plane if you're not careful, so just keep your throttle low and you'll do fine. I'm more concerned about the illuminated rust holes shining up through the floor. Rust? Uh, just think of it as weight reduction. Anyhow, remember what I said. Oh, and try not to fly too high. That engine has carburetor issues. Bye-bye now. Oh boy. Well, let's see what this thing can do. I'll give you a quick refresher on the plane controls and instruments. Great, let's start. This is our fuel gauge. We have a full tank at the moment and shouldn't need to refuel for a while. Oh, and one role of the co-pilot is to give regular notifications on fuel levels. This meter represents the highlighted here. This is the red next and fi- That's right. Hold the-
Welcome to our new base of operations. We own all three floors? Huh, not bad. Yep, it may look a little rundown right now, but it's just a matter of time before we turn this place into a grand establishment that strikes down the pirates' monopoly for good. The second floor contains the actual brewery, while the third floor sits mostly empty, waiting to be converted into a bar. And last, there's our plane hangar that resides at the bottom. See this golden square? This indicates a dockable location. This particular one will take us directly into our hangar. Always reduce your speed when maneuvering into a dockable location. Otherwise, you run the risk of overshooting and possibly crash. Got it. Now that we're here, let's get this plane inside and fix it up. Welcome to the hangar. Let's jump right into the basics. A plane will always need a pilot and co-pilot, which you can assign in the roster tab. You can also assign idle pilots to a few other jobs, such as brewery assistant or bar manager. You can do so by opening the repair tab located on the plane information panel. Once opened, move the slider all the way to the right to repair all damage and accept the purchase. Structural damage is repaired, we can construct some new wings. Start by opening the Modify tab. I noticed the wing construction required not only money, but also crafting materials. I'm sure we'll find more materials while venturing, so we should collect and bring them back. Anyways, I guess we're now ready to fly? to exchange a few bottles of old cider I have for a valuable piece of plane equipment. Let's start by moving all the bottles of cider from the brewery inventory into the plane inventory. The cider is now loaded in the plane's cargo space. It looks like we're all set. Right, let's head out. You can undock from the exit menu shown here. Oil, flaps, rudder. All meters look good. Ready for the maiden flight? You betcha. You can see we now have a delivery contract located in the upper right. The bar is located within eye range, just on the opposing side of the city. Take note of the gold docking square and small pier. Pilots should always plan their dock entry route and exit route ahead of time. You'll want to avoid approaching the pier head-on. You will almost certainly crash if you're traveling too quickly. Instead, approach a pier from a perpendicular angle. This presents the safest way to dock at a pier, and also makes for an easy exit. To help you approach at the correct angle, I've placed a series of rings. When you're ready, just follow them, and they will safely guide us to the delivery point. Take note of the ring color as you approach them. Their color will suggest the ideal throttle percent for the smoothest commute. Yellow is 100% throttle. Red is 30% throttle and zero percent. I'll remind you of appropriate throttle power.
100% throttle now. Reduce your speed. Slowly enter the final ring. That didn't take long at all. See this animated symbol? This means we're in a dockable location. When the dock input is pressed, it will bring up... You can press the dock button now. The docking menu comes with several op... Hmm. The floor is sticky. A bit of a dive, ain't it? What self-respecting person would drink in such a place? I'm sure the bar we build will be way better. Hey, a couple of new faces. Take a seat wherever you wish. Ah, I see you caught my ad in the paper. Is that cider? Great, you have a deal. But be careful with that plane equipment. Hydro aviation can be pretty dangerous in the hands of a novice. Oh, it's not just hydro propulsion. Hydro projectiles, too. But relax. I'm sure we'll be fine in your capable hands. Besides, We'll need an advantage if we're going to stand up to those pirates. One more adjustment here. And... Done. You're now set up to boost through the sky with a torrent of high-pressure water blasting behind you. You're also able to shoot water projectiles in front of you. Oh, geez. I lost track of time and gotta get back to my bar. One last thing. If you're going to craft more brews, I might be willing to buy some more from you. But first I'll see how my patrons like that cider. Take care. Well, that's fortunate. We have our first brew client. Hopefully next time we can deliver him something better than that basic cider. Sounds good. There's ingredients scattered throughout the bay that we could collect and craft into all sorts of unique brews. Though first things first, we should cover the basics of plane abilities. Above the compass is the let's start by testing to use the ability we m once we have enough w let's start by following the rings and getting into position. Once we're in position, I will give you the signal to hold. and swoop in to collect them. If a tree runs out of apples, move on to another. A depleted tree will grow back after several days elapse. You can switch to the water gun by cycling the primary ability. Head back down to a lower altitude when you're ready and test out the water projectiles. Sounds like a plan. Let's not forget to refill the water tank when necessary and stay within range of the island. Now let's collect 100 apples. Struggling up here. That salesman definitely sold us a lemon. 
Let's fly down to a lower altitude before it dies completely. Apples loaded in the plane. Next, we can head back to the brewery to process the apples. I'll place a marker to remind us where the hangar is located. Back home in one piece and a cargo hull full of apples, let's head up to the second floor brewery. You can access it from the exit menu. You managed to fit a fully functional brewery on a single floor? The first thing we need to do is move the apples from the plane inventory into the brewery. You can open the inventory tab to make the transfer. Great. Now that the apples are available to be processed, I can quickly explain the brewery menus. Let's start by opening the Create menu. 